Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1700, according to Japanese records, the 9.0 magnitude Cascadia earthquake takes place off the west coast of North America. In 1732, the first Mass is celebrated in the First American Catholic Church at St. Joseph's in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. In 1773, construction of the Walnut Street Jail is approved by the state of Pennsylvania. It is the first time solitary confinement is experimented with in the United States. In 1788, Sydney, Australia, the first permanent European settlement on the continent, is established today. In 1815, Napoleon escaped from exile on the island of Elba. In 1837, Michigan is admitted as the 26th U.S. state. In 1838, Tennessee enacts the first prohibition law in the United States. In 1841, the United Kingdom formally occupies Hong Kong, which China later formally cedes to them. In 1855, the Point-No-Point no Point Treaty is signed in Washington Territory. It trades money for land and forbids the Native Americans from owning slaves any longer. In 1861, the U.S. state of Louisiana secedes from the Union. In 1863, the governor of Massachusetts receives permission from the U.S. Secretary of War to raise a militia made up of men of African descent. Also in 1863, President Abraham Lincoln signs the National Currency Act, which establishes a single national U.S. currency. In 1869, the 15th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, guaranteeing the right to vote, is sent to the states to ratify. In 1870, the U.S. state of Virginia rejoins the Union. In 1881, the SS Ceylon begins the world's first round-the-world pleasure cruise from Liverpool, England. In 1891, the first buffalo is purchased for San Francisco's Golden Gate Park. In 1893, two Clydesdale horses set a record by pulling 48 tons on a sledge in Michigan. A lot heavier than a wagon full of Budweiser, I'll bet. In 1895, Michael Owens of Toledo, Ohio patents a glass blowing machine. In 1907, the Lee Enfield MK3 is introduced into British military service and remains the second oldest military rifle still in official use. Also in 1907, Royal and Shell merged to form British Petroleum, or what we commonly call BP gas stations now. And in 1907 as well, the US Congress raised their own salaries to $7,500. And it just keeps going and going and going. In 1909, a color motion picture is shown to the public for the first time. In 1911, Glenn H. Curtis flies the first successful American seaplane. In 1914, the HMHS Britannic, sister to the Titanic, is launched. In 1915, the U.S. Congress establishes the Rocky Mountain National Park. In 1916, Mutual signs actor Charlie Chaplin to a film contract. In 1917, the original Dixieland Jazz Band recorded Livery Stable Blues for the Victor Talking Machine Company in New York, making it the first jazz music recording ever. Also in 1917, Tsar Nicholas II orders the army to quell civil unrest in Petrograd. The army says no, leading to the Russian Revolution. In 1918, the spectator stands at the Hong Kong Jockey Club collapse and burn, killing 604 people. In 1919, the U.S. Congress established Grand Canyon National Park in northwestern Arizona. In 1920, former Ford Motor Company executive Henry Leland launches the Lincoln Motor Company, which he later sold to his former employer. In 1924, St. Petersburg, Russia is renamed Leningrad. Also in 1924, the trial against Adolf Hitler for treason begins in Munich, Germany. He was actually sentenced to five years, but only served nine months. A missed opportunity. In 1928, Fats Domino, one of the first rock and rollers, was born today. In 1929, Grand Teton National Park was established in Wyoming. In 1930, the first red and green traffic lights are installed in Manhattan, New York City. In 1932, the great Johnny Cash was born today. In 1934, the Apollo Theater reopens in Harlem, New York City. In 1935, Adolf Hitler orders the Luftwaffe to be reformed, violating the provisions of the Treaty of Versailles. Also in 1935, the New York Yankees release Babe Ruth, he then signs with the Boston Braves. In 1936, young Japanese military officers attempt to stage a coup against the government. 
it did not go well. Also in 1936, Adolf Hitler introduces Volkswagen. In 1938, the first passenger ship equipped with radar sets sail today. In 1942, the first United States forces to engage in World War II arrive in Europe, landing in Northern Ireland. In 1944, Sue Dosser is appointed the first female U.S. Navy captain. In 1949, a United States Air Force plane begins the first non-stop around the world flight. In 1950, the country of India becomes a republic and swears in its first president. In 1951, American novelist James Joyce published From Here to Eternity. In 1954, Michigan Representative Ruth Thompson introduces legislation to ban mailing obscene, lewd, lascivious, or filthy rock and roll phonograph records. In 1955, today was the first time a pilot bailed out of an aircraft at supersonic speed. In 1960, West Virginia high school student Danny Heater sets a worldwide high school basketball scoring record by scoring 135 points in a game. Also in 1960, a New York-bound Alitalia airliner crashed into a cemetery in Shannon, Ireland shortly after takeoff, killing 34 of the 52 people on board. Did you miss the irony of this one? In 1961, Janet G. Travell becomes John F. Kennedy's physician. This is the first time a woman holds the job of physician to the president. In 1962, the U.S. Supreme Court rules that race separation on public transportation is not legal. In 1965, Hindi becomes the official language of India. In 1966, the South Korean Army massacres 380 unarmed civilians in South Vietnam. In 1967, at the 9th Daytona 500, Mario Andretti wins his first and only NASCAR Grand National event it is also the only time a driver born outside of the U.S. has ever won the Great American Race. In 1970, the Beatles release Beatles Again, also known as the Hey Jude album. In 1972, the Buffalo Creek flood caused by a burst dam kills 125 people in West Virginia. In 1973, Triple Crown winning horse Secretariat is bought for a record $5.7 million. Also in 1973, the 8th Academy of Country Music Awards airs. Merle Haggard and Donna Fargo are winners. In 1975, the first televised kidney transplant is shown on the Today Show. Was there really a second? In 1979, the CBS premiere of New York City sitcom Flatbush airs. Residents of Brooklyn, New York are not amused. In 1980, Egypt and Israel established full diplomatic relations. In 1981, 84 penalties totaling 406 minutes are assessed for a brawl between NHL teams Minnesota and Boston. In 1983, Michael Jackson's Thriller album goes number one and stays number one for 37 weeks. And I still haven't bought it. In 1984, Reverend Jesse Jackson acknowledges that he called New York City Jaime Town. Wow. In 1985, the 27th Grammy Awards air Tina Turner and Cyndi Lauper are big winners. In 1987, today was the first release of Beatles albums on compact discs. Also in 1987, Michael Jordan scores 58 points in one game, setting a Chicago Bulls record. In 1989, the NFL's Dallas Cowboys fire coach Tom Landry after a 29-year career. Also in 1989, Jerome Robbins' Broadway opens at the Imperial Theater on Broadway, and runs for 634 performances. In 1991, the world's first web browser is shown to the public. Yep, it has only been since 1991. Also in 1991, coalition planes bomb Iraqi forces retreating from Kuwait during the Gulf War, killing hundreds and creating the so-called Highway of Death. In 1992, Russian leader Boris Yeltsin announces that Russia will stop targeting United States cities with nuclear weapons. Also in 1992, Armenian armed forces opened fire on Azeri civilians at a military post, leaving hundreds dead in what is now called the Kojali Massacre. And in 1992 as well, the Irish Supreme Court rules that a 14-year-old rape victim can get an abortion. In 1993, Islamist militants explode a car bomb beneath the World Trade Center. Six people die. In 1994, the NHL St. Louis Blues beat the Ottawa Senators 11 to 1. In 1995, the UK's oldest investment banking institute, 
Barings Bank collapses after a single securities broker takes a $1.4 billion risk and loses. In 1998, U.S. President Bill Clinton denies having had sexual relations with former White House intern Monica Lewinsky. But he did. Also in 1998, Oprah Winfrey is found not guilty in the beef defamation trial brought by Texas Cattlemen. In 2001, an earthquake hits Gujarat, India, causing more than 20,000 deaths. Also in 2001, the Taliban destroyed two giant historical Buddha statues in Afghanistan. In 2004, the United States lifts a ban on travel to Libya, ending restrictions that have lasted for 23 years. In 2005, in Glendale, California, near Los Angeles, two trains derail, killing 11 and injuring 200 people. Also in 2005, the 25th Razzie's Air. Catwoman wins, but Halle Berry looks good in that outfit. In 2011, the 31st Razzie's Air. The last airbender wins. In 2012, Trayvon Martin, an African-American teenager returning from a convenience store in Sanford, Florida, was fatally shot by George Zimmerman, a Neighborhood Watch volunteer. Also in 2012, the 84th Academy Awards air. The artist wins five Oscars and becomes the first silent film to win since 1927. In 2013, a flexible battery capable of being charged wirelessly and folded and stretched is developed. I wonder when we'll see that one. In 2018, extreme cold weather hits Europe killing seven and covering Pompeii, Italy in snow. It is nicknamed the Beast from the East. Also in 2018, the Global Seed Vault in Norway receives its one millionth seed on its 10th anniversary, which means it opened 10 years ago today, so I didn't include that above. In 2019, Catholic Cardinal George Pell of Australia is convicted of child sexual abuse. He is the highest ranking church official to be convicted to date. Also in 2019, the city of Venice, Italy introduces a tourist tax for visitors. And lastly, in 2021, toy maker Hasbro announces that the Mr. Potato Head brand name will be changed to be gender neutral. That was February 26th. I would appreciate it if you would like my video, comment on my video, and subscribe to my channel. I have a lot more coming at you. Have a great day.